happy day to all this is nivedita founder of shri ahna physiotherapy academy and our today's topic is going to be concave convex rule and in this rule what happens is whenever we take a concave surface as a stable one and when the convex surface is the moving part what happens is the direction of movement of both the shaft of the bone and the head will be in opposite direction uh, a best example of this kind of movement would be the uh, scapula and humeral movement see what happens when i put the shoulder into flexion the shaft moves upward the head of humerus it glides downward so this is what happens when a convex surface moves on a stable concave surface this is concave and this is convex when this convex surface moves on the stable concave surface what happens the shaft moves in the opposite direction to that of the gliding bone the gl bone gliding occurs downward okay occurs in the opposite direction to that of the bone so the next possibility of the concave convex rule is that the convex surface being uh, stable and the concave surface being movable this happens when you sit and try to extend your knee i'll just show you an example when you sit the position of the bones is going to be like this okay so you try to extend your knee what happens sliding occurs in the same direction as that of the bony lever again this is to maintain the maximum integrity of the joints so there are two types of joints when you consider about the articulating surface it is ovoid joint and cellar joint ovoid joints are nothing but they are uh, joints in which one surface will be concave and the other will be convex when you take the scapula for example one surface remains concave the glenoid cavity the other one the humerus the head of humerus remains convex this is a ovoid kind of joint going to the cellar kind of joint both the surfaces will have two types of surfaces both concave and convex you can see that in the uh, femoral uh, bones and the tibia i'll show you the uh, femoral bone you can see this part is convex and this part is concave you take the tibia the plateau remains concave and here it is convex okay so this is the example of a cellar joint next going into the joint play what is joint play joint play is nothing but one articular surface being easy to move having the freedom of movement over the other this is known as joint play a normal movement can take place between these articular surface only if the joint play is good enough if the joint play is too much then it means the surrounding structures that surround the joint are too lax too much of laxity leads to joint instability freedom of movement for any joint can be decided uh, can be tested in the loose packed portion of the joint so there the uh, normal joint play takes place and you can test that closed packed positions these are the positions in which the joint surfaces they remain maximally congruent so the ligaments and the capsules surrounding this joint will be in the maximum taut position what happens here is you can feel that in the end range of motions try to extend your elbow and feel that the joint is tight tight enough that is the ligaments and the capsules everything becomes taut here you put your elbow into extension and feel the close pack position so this position is a, a more stable position when compared to the other positions of the joints so i hope it would have been clear with the concave convex rule the joint play the type of joints and the uh, close pack position with this video thank you